guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna go right in with this urban decay primer potion and i'm gonna apply it to my eyelids um simply because this is gonna be a valentine's day a bold valentine's day eyeshadow look and you want your makeup to you want your eyeshadow to be very bold and vivid so i'm gonna apply this to my eyes um and then i'm going to blend it out with my finger Next, I'm going to go in with the Crayon Case, uh, the Matte Book Eyeshadow Palette. My best friend bought me this for Christmas. This is my first time using it, so I'm just going to go right in with that bright pink shade. And it doesn't have names, so I'm just going to show you guys on the camera. But I'm going to blend that out into my crease. And that color was actually a little bit too bright. Um, it looks white on my eyelid. I didn't expect for it to look like that. But in the end, you're not going to be able to see it anyway, so... It doesn't really matter so yeah I'm just gonna blend finish blending that out on both eyes because you want to do the same thing to both eyes then I'm gonna go in with this fuchsia color and I'm gonna blend it out over the top of the pink the first pink shade that I put down on my lid um, I, I guess to cover it up but at the same time um, it's you can't see it anymore so yeah next I'm gonna go with this purple shade here and then I'm going to blend that out. I was going to blend it out on my lid, but then I changed my mind. It, what moment did I change my mind? Yeah, this moment I changed my mind, as you can see. So I'm just going to start blending it out on the in the corners of my eye and do a halo eye. Now, I went off camera to wipe off the purple uh, color that was on my eyelid and then I'm just going to blend out in the corner so on the outer corner and on the inner, inner corner to create a halo effect and so then I'm just going to go back in with the pink shade and just blend um, put the put the pink shade back into my eyelid into my crease because it had gotten lost Next, I'm going to go in with this white shade and apply it to my lid. And I'm only doing this so that it can be the base for the color that I'm actually going to apply on my lid. And next, I'm going to go in with this Amrezy X Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I literally went into three shades before I found the shade that I was going to use. So the first shade that I'm going to attempt to use is this one right here. It's called Barb. And I sprayed my brush with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray before I applied it. I applied it. I'm applying it now. I didn't like it. So I'm going to go in with the next shade. And then I applied that. Didn't like it. So I decided to go in with this last shade, which is the shade that I ended up liking. So I'm going to blend that out onto my crease. I mean, onto my lid like so and then i'm going to put a little bit of the purple pink shade back in my crease and now we're finished and i'm just going to wipe off all the excess makeup on my face and then we're going to put my lashes on these are the lashes in my lash collection in the style india next i'm going to go in with my lancome foundation first i'm going to prime my skin with the smashbox primer potion and then I'm going to go in with the Lancome foundation. I'll leave the color in the description box. And I'm going to apply about four pumps of this. The pump is very small, so a lot of it does not come out. So I had to apply four pumps of it. And then I'm just going to blend that out all over my skin. And as you can see, it's very skin-like. It's a really nice foundation. It ought to be for the price. Next, I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge. And I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. So I'm just going to buff my skin so that my skin can look as skin like as possible so that it won't look cakey so it won't look out so it won't look like i piled a bunch of cake of foundation onto my face next i'm going to go in with the tarte shape tape concealer um this is in the color deep and i'm going to apply that first and then i'm going to apply it um under my eyes down the bridge of my nose on my forehead and on my chin and I think I applied it on my mustache too. Let's see. Yeah, I applied it on my mustache as well. And then I'm going to let that sit while I go in with this Fenty Beauty 
um, matchstick in the color truffle. This color is actually a little bit too bright, like too light for me. It's not dark enough, but I use it anyway. And I'm going to use it as like a bronzer. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm going to bronze like the sides of my cheeks and my, um, like my jawline and then around my forehead. And then I'm going to blend that out with a brush. Then I'm going to go in and blend out my concealer. Um, I'm blending out my concealer with this AOA Studio um, Beauty Sponge. And um, I'm going to blend it out. And then I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the color Butterscotch. And I'm going to apply a little bit of that just to make my under eye brighter because this is Valentine's Day and we want to be snatched. So we're going to make it a little bit brighter to cover up those Chanel bags. And then I'm going to let that sit for a little while, like let it dry down a little bit. And then I'm going to blend that out as well with the same sponge that I used before. And this is a trick that I learned from Jackie Ina. She layers her concealers and it just makes your under eye look a little bit more flawless. And it also makes um, your under eye a little bit brighter. So you can go for this type of look when you're going to be in like a wedding or something where you want your makeup to be absolutely flawless. And you want to make sure that your under eyes are really bright. Um, well, I, don't, I won't say really, really bright, but... You know, make sure your under eyes are really bright. You, you want to go for this technique um, instead of just applying the bright shade right off the top. We go in with a darker color, a lighter color concealer, but not that light first. And then going with the concealer that's a lot lighter than that. Next, we're going to use the Laura Mercier setting powder and blend um, and set everywhere where we put concealer. So under our eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead. Um, I pretty much set my entire face with this. Um, once I get done setting all the areas where I put concealer at, it ends up being pretty much my entire face. Um, so yeah. And then I'm also going to highlight my, um, contour, well, my bronzer. I'm also going to highlight that because like I said, it's Valentine's Day. So we want our face to be snatched like so. And then I forgot to blend out something on my chin. As you can see, so I blended that out. And I'm also going to put some setting powder on my um, smile lines. Next, I'm going to go in back in with the truffle, uh, the matchstick in the color truffle and contour my nose because I forgot to do that when I was contouring the rest of my face. And then I'm just going to blend it out with this smaller brush from Morphe. Next, I'm going to go in with this Black Radiant Contour Palette. And I'm going to set my um, bronzer and I apply way too much. In the beginning so I kind of tried to blend it out and then I kind of tried to match it on the other side because I couldn't fix it so yeah makeup is about making mistakes and just trying your best to fix it and it, it comes out pretty in the end so that's all that matters so next next I'm gonna go on with this ABH um, blush trio and this is in a color barrier door and I'm gonna just go through go into all three shades and apply it to the high points of my cheeks Then I'm going to go in with the AOA Studio Highlighter in the color. I will leave it in the description box below. And I'm going to apply that to my cheeks, like on top of the blush. And I'm also going to apply a little bit to my forehead, my chin, and my cupid's bow, and my nose. Like the tip of my nose, and then I'm going to apply a little bit down the bridge of my nose. Next, I'm going to go in with this Hangover 3-in-1 prime, uh, Primer Spray. Primer and setting spray, and then I'm just going to spray my face with this. And then I'm going to take my beauty sponge and buff it in with the butt of my beauty sponge. And as you can see, the skin is looking gorgeous. Next, I'm going to wipe off the makeup off my lips. And I'm going to go in with my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. And I'm going to line my lips with this first. Then I'm going to go in with the NYX Cabaret Lip Liner, and then I'm going to line my lips with that. Lastly, I'm going to go in with the, um, this is a ColourPop liquid lipstick. Um, the color will be in the description box because I can't remember it off the top of my head. But it's a, a matte liquid lipstick. So I'm going to apply the ColourPop, um, this liquid lipstick first. 
And then I'm going to go over it with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the color Fussy. That's so pretty. That is so pretty. And that's the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the color Fussy. And I'm just going to apply that over the top of the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick. And here is the finished look. So I'm about to go fix my hair and I'll be back. And I'm back. <laughs> Here's the finished look. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. Perfect. Um, make sure you guys go and shop my lash collection. These are in the style India. I will leave my web the link to my website in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.